Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and another tips, tricks and hacks related video, except this time, oh, it's on Spotify. Whew, let me just calm down for a second. <clears throat> So yeah, I have 10 tips, tricks, and hacks about Spotify that I wanna share with you guys today. Something to also note is that Spotify is completely free. The premium version just opens up a couple of extra features and takes away the ads. That is literally it. Then as always, stay right until the end of the video because that is where I will share my favorite tip, trick, hack. And then lastly guys, I'm also going to be giving away this JBL go-to speaker on my Instagram. I'll leave my handle right here so you guys can check it out. Here is my one, these speakers are are absolutely incredible especially for this size but without any further ado guys if you're not yet subscribed please feel more than welcome to give this video a thumbs up share it with friends if you enjoy it but let's get into the video <laughs> Okay, starting with number one is playlist images. So did you know that you can actually customize the icons of your playlists? As you can see here, they use album artwork. I don't think it looks really nice. So if you go into the desktop version of Spotify, right? You just click on the playlist icon and then you can replace it for your own one. So I just went onto Icon Finder. I found a couple of images that I liked. And here, as you can see, I am just replacing the artwork. And I also used images that correlates with my playlist. So for example, workouts playlist, I had a little dumbbell and I just like that. Another thing that's really awesome is you can edit the actual text of your playlist and use emojis. So here this playlist is called Best01 and I decided to use a bomb and an explosion icon because it is the bomb.com playlist, okay? <laughs> and then for workouts, I just put like a little guy working out and an arm emoji. It just makes things really quick. You hop onto Spotify, you see the workout emojis and you're like, that's the playlist I want. All right, shortcuts to playlists. So as you can see here on my home screen, there's an empty space there. And there's one particular playlist I like to listen to all the time. And if you click on those three dots to the right hand side there, scroll all the way to the bottom, you can see that it says add to home screen. If you click on that, it adds an icon to your home screen. And then in future, when you wanna to listen to that playlist, you literally just click it and it instantly starts playing music from that playlist. Number three is crossfading and gapless play and that is exactly as the name would suggest. So if you want your songs to crossfade or have no space in between songs, all you do is you click on your library, then the settings icon in the top right hand side and right over there you can see crossfade. So here's where you can actually choose how many seconds it takes to crossfade between each song and then you can also choose gapless play which means there will be no silence between songs. Number four, karaoke style. If you want to turn your device or your smartphone into a little karaoke machine, all you have to do is go to the Play Store or the App Store and look up an app called Music X Match. Music Match lyrics. <laughs> you can see it here on the screen. That is what the icon looks like. You just install this app. As you can see, I've already done that. But then you click open. You allow access to your device. And then every time you open up your Spotify and jam a song, the lyrics pop up on the screen and you can literally follow along with. I think this is really, really awesome. And also for anyone out there who just wants to know the lyrics to a song, this is a great way to check it out. Stepping out, it's Friday night, how I'm longing for this day. Now this little hack I've mentioned before on another video, but if you missed it and you want to share one of your favorite Spotify songs to Instagram stories, all you do is you click on those three little dots to the right hand side, you scroll down, then you click on share, and then from there you just click on Instagram stories. And then what it'll do is it'll copy the album artwork to your Instagram stories. You can customize your story however you'd like. But what's really awesome about this is when your followers come along and check out your Instagram stories, they can literally click in the top corner there as you see, open in Spotify, and this song will immediately start playing in their Spotify app. Okay, number six, private listening. So if you go to your library 
and to settings in the top right hand corner there again and you scroll down you will see a section that says private listening and this is basically for if you're someone who has followers and follow your Spotify account, you can make sure that they don't know what you've listened to. I don't know why you would put this on, but the option is there and I thought I would just share it with you guys. Okay, number seven is folders. So I've got a bunch of playlists that are my favorite playlists. And to create a folder for those, all you do is you right click in the playlist section on the desktop, unfortunately only desktop. You go right to the bottom and click create folder. And then here I just called it fave music and you can drag and drop your favorite playlists into that folder. And then at a later stage, if you want to take a playlist out of that folder, you can just drag and drop it out. But this is especially nice also for people who maybe have gymming playlists or running playlists. You can throw it into one folder and it just keeps things nice, neat and accessible. Now, did you know that you can actually see some of your local concerts all from Spotify? If you go into the app and you click that search icon in the bottom middle section and you scroll down, there is an icon there that says concerts. If you click on it, it'll actually show you all the concerts in your area and their dates, when they're playing, where they're playing. And what's even more interesting is that it's mostly related to the music you already listened to. So here, as you can see, Guns N' Roses is coming to South Africa next year. And what you can also do is change your location. So say you're going to New York in a couple of months, you just type in New York and you can see all the artists that'll be playing up in that area um, at a specific time. And again, it's all tailored to the music you enjoy listening to. So I thought this was a really nifty feature and something you guys may not have known. Did you know that you can also use voice commands to control your Spotify? Hey Google, open up Spotify and play a song for me. Sure, asking Spotify to play some music. Just want a dance, want a simple romance, nothing more, nothing less from you. Hey Google, pause Spotify. Hey Google, play Spotify, but skip to the next song. Hey Google, open Spotify. Opening Spotify. Hey Google, Play Who Is She by Love Beans. Okay, asking Spotify to play Who Is She by Love Beans. Stepping out, it's Friday. Pretty cool, huh? I really like this and I think it is great, especially for when you're driving. It's definitely much safer. Number 10, my favorite and final feature is downloading your Spotify playlists so you do not have to be connected to Wi-Fi or using your data to listen to your favorite jams. And all you have to do is you click on those three little dots to the right hand side and the first thing you'll see is download. You click on that and essentially what will start happening is Spotify will download all your tracks in that playlist to your phone and then when you're out and about or you don't have access to Wi-Fi or data, you can still play your tunes without having to use any Wi-Fi or data. By the way, you can also see what playlists you've downloaded just by that little green icon underneath each playlist. And that is it for these 10 Spotify tips, tricks and hacks. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely be sure to check out either one of these videos as well. There might be something that you find that you like or that you didn't know. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching and I will definitely see you in the next video. Toodles! Toodles!